Hey everyone, Jose Rodriguez back again. I just went upstairs to warm up my coffee and I had a box waiting for me from Amazon. So what we have here is seven sprays. I really do not want to get any more of these. So please refrain from suggesting any more. I think this is going to be more than I can handle. I'll tell you what I have. I have my old standard. This is the cheap stuff. It's about eight bucks a can. This is glossy, low odor clear finish they have a solvent version as well but it's really smelly and not something you want to do in the house this is actually bearable not too bad and then i have krylon also has a gallery series spray much better nozzle let me see if i can open this it's a much better nozzle supposedly provides a much finer spray and we have here matte conservation varnish and uv archival varnish gloss then i have the moab desert varnish i have the premier print shield and the hannah meal protective spray and that is all i'm going to include in this test so this will begin probably after i get a lot of other things done i'll begin to do this but i wanted to talk to you about something i just saw and I know I always tell you to read my read more section in my description. Well, you know, I should have done that at the Precision Colors website. Yeah, if I had just scrolled down today, I would have been able to see what I just discovered a few minutes ago. I didn't do that earlier. If you go all the way down, there is a update and it says product pipeline completion of the superb Pro 10 and Pro 1 kits. Introduction of the Pro 1000 kit. The P800 decoders will soon be in. Then there will be a Carbon 6 ink set and cool Carbon 6 for Epson Claria 6 color printers. Oh boy, that means that I can take my Epson 1400 that I normally use right now for application of gloss optimizer and turn it into a six shade black and white printer. Oh boy. Let's see what else we have here. Introduction of an ink set for the Canon Megatank G series printers. Epson Echo Tank ink sets for four and six color machines. Reintroduction of the Claria SE pigment inks for the Artisan 1430 and SP1400. So he will have a pigment ink set for those two printers. Now, some of you might say, well, why do that? It's actually possible, and I know a couple of people that have been for the longest time printing using pigment inks on a 1400. But anyway, it's available, and some people do love what they get from it. So what can I tell you? If they only have a 1430, or a 1400 then you have the ability to print using pigment inks on that family of printers and then he ends by saying then there will be a little surprise i don't know what he means by that i don't think he's going to tell me either and i hope he doesn't let's leave it that way let's leave it be a slight little mystery I hope it's good. All right, that is it. Quickest video I've ever made, probably. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to go upstairs and watch some TV now. It is a little bit later on in the evening. It is still Tuesday evening. So, yeah, that is it. Great. Sounds to me like some really nice new products down the pipeline. He told me that after the Pro 1000, he was just going to take a break and not go into the development mode as much as he has been in the past year. And I tend to agree. In fact, I was um, told by a couple of people to slow down myself and to just simply produce videos about technique and about uh, how to do things and not so much get involved with new printers. But you know what? I just can't help it. I love the technology, so I really cannot stay away from it. And so 
Anyway, we'll see what happens. We still have about four or five more months to go, so we'll see what happens for the rest of the year. But anyway, this should be quite interesting. I'm going to do that very soon. I'll go ahead and prepare the uh, prints. I'll spray them. I'll label them, and then we'll do a very quick comparison. I'll show you what changes took place before application and after application. And then we'll go ahead and set up some sort of system for me to expose these to strong light. I may have to take them over to my daughter's house and put it in one of her solariums and we'll see what happens. I'm not too concerned at this moment with uh, figuring out how much this improves longevity wise. I'm more concerned about the effect of the sprays on finished prints. Once I do the very basic luster prints in matte papers, I will go ahead and try it on some of my finer papers and see how these sprays react with those papers. All right, that is it. Thank you so much for subscribing, sharing, and liking. Keep doing it, folks. Today, we're doing really well. I checked my analytics and the one hour viewing estimate of videos is the highest I have ever seen. So I'm very grateful for that. All right. Happy printing, everybody, and bye-bye.